I'm Kent Larson. I direct the City Science Initiative here at the MIT Media Lab. We have uh, a network of projects working with different cities around the world. We're now working in Hamburg, Taipei, Andorra, Singapore, a number of other cities. What I am finding is, although there's a big emphasis on so-called smart cities, intelligent cities, etc., it's not really what the mayor mayors care about. The mayors care about jobs and they care about how efficiently they use resources. They care about quality of life. So we're developing what we think of as an evidence-based, data-driven process that privileges human interaction in the city. We're building three-dimensional physical models using augmented reality to then project data visualization as well as simulation uh, onto this physical model. The goal is not so much to, to make expert systems for experts, but rather to democratize access to these powerful new tools to engage all of the stakeholders in a community that need to be part of the process. So we have a physical platform allowing people to stand around and enter into a discussion of what the important issues are. For example, we're working in Hamburg right now to help identify housing and communities for the 40,000 refugees that uh, are now without shelter in the city. The mayor came to us and suggested, I could do this as a top-down process, but that is not a workable uh, scenario for this very emotional, politically charged um, problem we have to, to address. We developed a platform so it can be a bottom-up process to engage members of the community who might have different political viewpoints, different ideas about how to approach this, this problem. We do workshops with roughly 30 people, and that face-to-face -face interaction is so critically important. And having access to instant information, as well as the ability to try out different scenarios that we're hoping and we fully expect that this will lead to a level of engagement, allowing the community to reach a consensus of, about how to proceed. Now, we can use the same tool for looking at what enables innovation, the issues such as density and proximity and diversity, how to bring together a diverse group of people uh, at a critical mass, exchanging ideas, which we think is, is the most uh, important aspect of uh, innovation. Uh, mayors all over the world are interested in innovation districts, but for the most part they don't know what actually enables innovation. We believe we can model this and put this together as a tool to allow all the stakeholders to make informed decisions about that process. Now our, our long-term vision with this is to create an open source platform we can't do everything in our group. Even all the researchers at MIT couldn't put all this together. It's a very complex, challenging problem to develop the simulation algorithms and the data visualization, data visualization algorithms. What we intend to do is to put this out into the world as an open source platform, have a whole community of developers uh, using open APIs and data commons uh, allowing for standards for how this could come together, not only in, in rich cities like Hamburg or Boston, but in the developing world that don't have access to the expensive consultants. In other words, to bring state-of-the-art technology and make it accessible in a very affordable way to, for cities all over the world. One of the most interesting challenges is to Think about new models for the rules of the city. Right now, they're very primitive. We have zoning ordinances that have very simplistic rules, such as setbacks and building height and prescribed uses. Uh, this is really a 19th, early 20th century concept. Uh, there's no reason why we cannot have algorithmic 
zoning that is responsive to changing economic conditions and cultural values. Uh, so I think, I think in the end, what we need to do is to bring together really excellent ideas about design, state-of-the-art technology, and public policy. I think these are the three elements, and I think eventually we can model all, all of this in a, in a more integrated way.